it's time for another quick round two knockout. So coming off of our round one eliminations, we have Blend95 up against Ujimacha Taiko-san from Ocha. No brewing, of course, in round two, so let's get right back into refreshing our memory here. Man, as I said, it, it even smells sweeter now, the Taiko-san. Reminds me of like a, a green soup, sweet green soup, like a pea soup almost, but not quite as overwhelmingly pea. There's just more going on. Get back up to speed on the Blend 95. This has more of the woody notes now starting to express themselves, having sit out longer, but still lots of green. Okay, let's give them another taste. And it just, yeah, this taiko sun just kind of hits you, coming at you from all directions with a bunch of different flavors, all kind of sweet and green and vegetal and kind of amazing. Blend 95, lots of strong pea on the aftertaste. Garden fresh peas, still an excellent matcha. This is one of the more lower offerings from Breakaway Matcha, but of course, Breakaway Matcha only deals in what they call hyper premium matcha. So even their lowest end matchas are still gonna be quite high tier. So even though this is a lower tier for Breakaway Matcha itself, it's still a very high grade matcha overall. That one has set out the longest and still just retains a lot of bright and vibrant flavors. But the journey of this Taiko-san, really, really enjoy this one. Yep, definitely gonna have to go with the Taiko-san again, which means that Blend 95 is getting kicked out in our round two battle here, which means our bracket now looks more like this. And it also means I can tell you a little bit more about Blend 95. Blend 95, of course, coming from Breakaway Matcha, the 30 gram container rings in at $59, or approximately $1.97 per gram, coming from Uji Tawara in Kyoto. The description from the Breakaway Matcha website reads as follows. It is rare to find a matcha this smooth with this much umami at this price. Lovely sweet notes emerge from this chlorophyll-rich blend of choice tencha leaves from a family co-op in Uji. Tastes like sous vide cooked baby vegetables, shiitake powder, and miner's lettuce. An absolutely brilliant introduction to quality matcha. Yeah, for the lower end of the high tier, which is breakaway matcha, if you're gonna look for a breakaway matcha and you wanna get something from them, the Blend 95 is an excellent option. All right, I will see you tomorrow for yet another quick and dirty round two knockout. See you then.